Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode what we do is we're going to continue working around the front bumper here we're looking pretty good um, so far we got that shape looking quite nicely in there so I think what we'll do is we're going to start off by grabbing all these interior edges here and I'm going to hit Control E and I'm just going to scale in ever so slightly just so we've got kind of an extra little double bit inside there and we are going to snap these points here to the center what we're now going to do is we're going to grab all of these so we're going to double click all the way around there and I'm going to go to edit mesh and we're going to extract these so now we have our original mesh and then we have this section here in the middle. What I want to do is I'm going to grab all these inner sections again. Oops. So we'll grab all the ones here that we just extruded in. I'm going to hit Control E on those again and this time I am going to zoom just in. Well, I'm going to say zoom. I'm going to drag just in side here just so that we've got a little bit of a lip inside there now what we're going to do with this new piece of mesh is this is going to be our inner section here so I'm going to grab all these top facing ones I'm just going to pull it in down a little bit more and the same here again our blueprints aren't matching up 100% just make it a little bit awkward but we'll get the idea from this so pull all these in it appears to get a little bit thinner as we get around here That looks okay. Now I'm going to grab them and ever so slightly bring them down. Ever so slightly. And then we're just going to make a little bit of a gap. Only ever so slightly, because this is going to be a separate portion to that. And then we're going to grab, we're going to grab all the edges on both sides, but we're not going to take the ones in the center here. And we're going to hit Control E, and we're just going to pull those in too. And there's no need to go any further than what we already pulled in earlier, so we'll just go to about there. And what we want to do with these is we're going to need to take the inner ones, the ones that we'll see down here. We'll pull these down and we'll pull them in. We don't have to be too neat with this just yet. So pull those, we're just going to do that just so we can see them. And now all of these are going to line up with the back of this grill around here. Now it's important again to try and maintain the straight lines as we go all the way around here as we're putting these into position, just to make sure the mesh is, the mesh is as smooth and nice as possible. So feed around this corner. nicely up and around there. Okay. And then it looks like this sits quite far in. Now this is something that's tough to see on a blueprint and this is why it's important to gather as many reference images as you can. It's also fairly difficult because it's practically black on all the examples. So I'm just going to pull it in. Maybe something 
like that. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe something like that. Sure. So I've gone all the way around inside there quite nicely. Um, inside there, there is some honeycomb mesh which we'll add in some time. Um, and then we've got like a, a bash bar you kind of thing going across. So what we could do now is let's grab all of these edges here and we'll hit Control E. I'm just going to pull out around here. Now we can merge this one up here because we already know that that one's fine. So I'm just going to merge those together. simply start to pull these points around here. Could be that this meets there. So we'll bring these all around like so. And again we'll hold X to snap that to the center. Now what we'll want to do with these is obviously we're going to want to grab them as usual and we'll bring them in and we're going to go in line with this so it's going to curve and come down quite nicely there but what we're going to need to do with these ones is we'll take those a little bit further under something like that okay so that's holding on to that shape quite nicely Now, if we are going to bring this edge down here, it means that we're probably going to need maybe need another edge along here. So what we'll do is we'll insert another edge loop and we'll drop that maybe about there. And again, we'll pull it out ever so slightly so it's curving rather than anything else. What we could do is we could grab these two points Let's maybe grab these actually Take all of these Maybe I'll need to come down a bit more Let's grab these edges here, I'm going to hit Control E again I'm going to pull this down And it looks like this is going to want to go all the way under here. Okay. I think what we'll maybe do is we'll bring this more like that. Grab all these again, or maybe just pull them down just a little bit more, just so we've got that shape reflected there. Okay. Okay, so we're looking pretty good then, just there. Um, next, let's have a think about the vents then. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to grab all of these edges here, minus the lower one down here. Let's actually grab this one and bring this down something like that. And we can grab each of these edges here. I'm going to hit Control E. And we're just going to bring these in. And it looks maybe to something about that depth. And then we'll go across here. So 
So we'll maybe get a little bit of curve to this. And then this one will want to come up and around here. I think we'll want this edge as well to be up there. So I'm going to hold V in and snap those together. And we can merge them. And then this one's going to go up here as well. Something like that. And then we'll maybe get we'll get some nice curvature to this. Something like that will work quite nice. What we'll want to do is we'll want to then insert a couple more edge loops. We'll drop one up here. And then in our top view before we do anything else. I'm just going to make sure that's working around there quite nicely. Same again down the vent here, and again, we can get some curve on that too. Okay, that means that these two edges here we can bridge them, and then this one here, well, maybe not. If it gets to the point like this where we can't actually fill the hole, what we'll do is we can extrude and extrude out. And then we can just snap and merge these here. Sometimes it's a little bit awkward, especially when the last vertice is on an edge that goes all the way around. Let's do something like that, and then here I think. Maybe we want this to to step out a little bit more. Maybe something like that. Okay, so that's looking good. And then we can do the same up here. So we'll grab these two. And then we can bridge, and then we can fill the hole up there. Now I've got some triangles in here, but that's not a big deal. When it comes to adding the details to these sections, we will um, address that at a later date. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal. And let's see. Okay, so we're looking pretty good under there. So it looks like at this point here, what we'll do is we'll grab each of these edges. I'm just going to hit Control E. I'm just going to take them in. And then let's just deselect these edges and then we'll take them in this way. Maybe what we'll actually do as well is let's grab each of these. Just pull them down a little bit just to maybe give a little bit more of a dimension down there. And then all these points we're going to want to come around here. Like so. And what we could do as well is let's grab all of these with the scale tool. We're just going to flatten them off inside there. Okay, so that's looking good. Down around there, it looks like we've got a little bit of trim that fills in this corner, and then we've got a little bit of a additional geometry to add inside here. 
So what we'll do with that additional geometry is we'll bring in a whole new element for this. Let's delete the edge there. And what we'll do is we'll use this new box here to create this section. So I'm just going to hit X here to snap that. Because we're going to be mirroring this, it's important to delete that interface there. And we'll bring that in here as well. And let's get that sitting just there. And what I think we'll do is this here, we're going to want to maybe reflect the same distance in that we have there. And then these frontal vertices we're going to want to sit down here and the frontal ones again we're going to need to come around here and then I think we just need to pick it up just there and obviously we're going to want to take this in here. And then it looks like this has got a fairly substantial curve to it. So we'll maybe bring this out to match the curve here. And what we'll do with this is we're just going to add some edge loops to it. So we'll drop one in the center here. centers again and we'll get a curve to it here as well okay. we'll probably won't need the rear faces to those either so get rid of that So let's have a go now, let's just grab all of these and flip them over. Now what we'll be doing later on is we will be creating instances of these, so what will happen is each side will change and edit as we as we build. Now what we'll do, let's continue working on these vents. <coughs> so what we're gonna need is we are going to need some additional information inside here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a vertices about there. The reason we're going to drop a vertices there using our cut tool is because we're going to want to insert an edge loop down here. And again, help maintain some curve here. And this is going to allow us now to bring this in something like that. The reason we do it like this is because we don't want to end up ruining the or give an angle, should I say, when we want curve in this portion here. We're going to need to do the same to the top. Now, we've got the headlight here, and because the headlight has a fairly defined corner to it, what we could do, let's just pull this down, is we need to keep this one here. What I'm actually going to do is take these further up and around, and further to the edge here. And we're going to need to make sure that we're reflecting that change in our side view. Create some space inside here. Because we're going to need to 
insert an edge loop again. We're relatively close down here. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to bring this up. We'll want to stay close actually at this point because it does have a defined edge there. But then we'll want to move away at the last second so that we're not sure enough of that line too. So I'm just going to get closer here. That looks okay. And we'll grab this edge and this edge. We'll just bridge that across. So this is now going to end up working there, but we can see that we're quite a way off. I actually want this to be out there. Probably want that to be something a bit more like like that. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll again try to match some geometry here. So I'm going to insert an edge loop, and we'll drop two in. want to help maintain some curve again. Bring that around there. Okay. And what we'll do is let's grab all of these points here and just hit Control E. scale that down just so that we can see it in our front view here so we can see what we're working with so we know that this point we want to take all the way down here so a very similar trajectory to what we're doing there we'll also want to make sure that we're reflecting that same distance Side here. And then we can see that we actually curve on this side too. Okay, so at this point here it looks a little bit angled, but we don't need to worry about that too much. We do want to grab this, however, and we do want to go in just a little bit more. looking good. Okay, so we've got the vents put inside there. Again, we'll be adding more detail to these at some point. Obviously, we'll want to be making sure that we're going to be adding a bit more geometry in here once we do start to come in for our smooth. Um, so I think what we'll do at this point then is we'll start to work up the hood of the car. Let's get some of my frames on here so we can see. 
let's grab all these edges here, including our scoopy bit, and I'm going to hit Control E. And what we'll do is we'll work towards the top here, straighten that off a little bit. We'll work towards the top of the headline. And what we're going to need is these here to run, obviously, all the way around. We do have a crease here which we want to pay attention to. So we'll have that. Just hit something like that. And then all of these essentially, we're going to want to just a little bit further from each other. And then in our side view here, we're going to want to pull them up. Like so. Take these two. Now we know that they already have a decent curvature to them, decent shape. So we'll try and keep that shape intact. And what we'll do is we'll add maybe two edge loops in here. So we'll drop one just there. And the only thing I think we'll really need to think about is pulling up here. And then we'll add one more edge loop maybe just here. And again, pull these up. just want to make sure that we're flowing around the headlight here. Just maintaining a similar distance. pretty good. Going up around there quite nicely. What we'll want to do as well is let's have a think about our wheel arch again. Is We'll grab these edges here and I'm going to extrude these up. I'm going to extrude these up here and they are going to sit on this crease. something like that and then we're gonna want each of these then to sit on this crease up here like so and we'll bring this down here and then what we'll want to do is we'll want to follow the curves and the contours there and something like that still on the crease. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we are going to want to grab this point here and I'm going to move that over here. And in doing so we're going to adjust this too. This one will have feed into our scoop over there. Well not our scoop, our intake on the top of the hood there. And then we're going to have another edge loop which is going to sit right in between here. And again, we just want to make sure we're maintaining a curvature here. And what's going to happen is this is going to merge to this point. And this here is going to merge to this point. We'll just hit G on there to use a second, the same rule twice, same tool should I say. So we've got that sitting across there quite nicely. What we'll want to do now is we'll want to add some edge loops back in. And we're going to want to bring them in roughly along the line here. 
and then we're going to want to bring them up to reflect the same. Let's just again make sure that we're on this crease. And that'll be just a case here of merging these points here, here, and here. We we'll just want to make sure that we're still sat on the correct line here. And then in our front view, let's at least just see that we're sitting consistently off the mark, which is fine. Okay, so that's looking quite good. Um, what we're then going to want is we are then going to want these elements here to move off in this direction. And again, we want this to sit on the crease there. And then we can bring all that around to sit nicely. And then it's just a case of pulling these into position here match that location. Like so. Now we can see here that we are a little bit popping a bit further out than we should be. And I think what we'll want to do for that is we'll want to insert another edge loop. And this can be the top. What we'll do this on this side. That's going to be the top of the, the vent there. And this is going to pull in. And again, we're going to pull out to match that crease. Okay. And then what we'll probably do is we'll probably have one more line to sit at that point as well. So I think we're looking pretty good just now. Again, let's get this all duplicated here. So we're looking pretty good along there. From the car's looking quite nice. We've got the shape of the headlights laid out. <coughs> I think what we may want to do is get more of a curve here. So let's go back in. And just curve this out just a little bit better. Again, we're just going to want to make sure that we're consistently, if we're just above it there, missing on that blueprint. So we'll just pull that along. I guess I think we're looking good here. And the next episode, we'll probably continue working up the hood of the car and then have a blast down the side. Alright, guys. Cool.